I'm going to show you a quick tip before we get started. You've got your Arma 2 icon. If you haven't already done so, right click it, properties. At the end of the target line, it will look like that. Go outside of the speech marks, press the space, minus key, and type in no splash. That's without any spaces, and that will save you a good 20 seconds worth of splash screens when you next load up Arma. Before we begin today, there are a couple of very useful utilities which we're going to be using in this tutorial, which I'd like you to download. If you go into your internet thing, in Google search we want Armaholic, Feeling Lucky, and we want Downloads, and the old armor, it's important that, Editing, tools and we want armor edit so click that download it install it and armor tools click that download it now when you have this here extract that onto your desktop like that and then double click it to run and that will install. When it asks do you want to install it to the context menu, choose yes. Here we are and we begin to make map. Once you've made this mission you will be able to make your own mission from scratch, multiplayer and play it online that will complete. So back to our little island again. Gonna place our guy there. Officer, lieutenant, less rank. Two of those. We change this control to playable. Player, you can only have one, and that is you when you click preview to test player. It's also top of the list when you go into the game lobby in the multiplayer. Playable means that in multiplayer they can be selected. Non-playable means that they're AI. Forced by default AI and you can't choose them in the lobby. So we're going to make our little base. If we put a flag there and then that will mark that'll mark the respawn. Now this is very careful this next bit that you must do exactly. Let's make a marker and call it respawn underscore west and then this usually have an icon. This bit doesn't matter exactly you know if you want the flag or an arrow it's up to you whatever colour. And in text, type something like base, but the important thing is this, respawn west, or if you're the Russian side, respawn underscore east. Or if it's a PvP map, at one side you will want respawn west, and at the other side you'll want respawn east. Now that marker will hide when you're doing other stuff, but when you click back on markers F6, it is there, it's just to not clutter it up. If we click preview now, if we die we will not respawn because clicking preview in the editor doesn't offer that facility. So in order to test your map with respawn you have to save it and export it as a multiplayer map. But before we do that, name, we'll call it multi-respawn. Description, description, now I can make missions start to finish. What we're going to do is save that in user mission still and save it as, we're going to save it as M player. Then we're going to exit. Now we've made the skeleton mission in Armed Assault, we're going to go straight into the armor edit here 
and create the description file. Now the description file is the bit that actually makes the respawn work. So copy carefully. Now we go to the wizard file. The briefing wizard doesn't work in Armour 2 anymore because they've changed it slightly but the description wizard isn't much different. We want unit respawn. We want to give the player GPS's and that and then make sure that's checked base. I'm going to give the respawn delay of 30 seconds. In. Create the description file and that's what it looks like. In here you can give a couple of forward slashes, the green which means it's not code, it's just text. Um, input created, created by tutorials. Or put your own name in there. File, save as. And I'm already there because I've done it already. Go to your documents, my documents, it will be under users or libraries as it is in Windows 7. Missions, mplayer that we called it, and there, description.ext. I'm going to overwrite it. It's important that you don't change the file name at all. Leave that as it is. When you're happy with your mission, come into my computer or my Windows Explorer documents, go to your armor 2 missions and we'll delete that. This is um, what you'll have, you'll have your folder which is your mission name dot and then the island code at the end. Go into there you've got the description ext which we've just done with armor edit and you've got mission.sqm which is the mission that you've made with armed assault. Those two files are the bare minimum to make this multiplayer respawn. Go back, right click on the folder and because we've installed CPBO you've got the create PBO here. Click that. This is now your multiplayer file. That is the file that you want to copy. Go to where armor's installed, click on multiplayer missions, paste it in there Now when you host a multiplayer game on your machine, or if you copy that file onto your remote server, other players, when they connect to you, will download that mission from your machine, and you'll be able to play a multiplayer game where you respawn. And that concludes the basic levels of tutorials, that's everything. You can make multiplayer missions, you can create enemy squads, enemy groups, you know how to patrol, you know how to cycle the patrol, you know about triggers, you know how to end missions, you know how to bring reinforcements in, and now you know how to create respawns as well. So, pretty good going for a month. Silence, who are we mistaken? Oh, you see, it's not